I'm Bob Weinberg. I have a laboratory here at the Whitehead Institute, and I'm a professor of biology at MIT. I've been at MIT on and off since 1960, so it's been a good run. My laboratory has worked for many years on trying to figure out how normal cells become cancerous, and therefore how they begin to multiply to create tumors, primary tumors that are arising in one or another part of the body. But ultimately, from the point of view of clinical medicine, the process of metastasis, that is the spreading of cancer cells throughout the body, is far more important because it's the metastases at distant sites in the body which kill about 90% of cancer patients, not the primary tumors. And so for the past five years, we've been looking into the mechanisms by which cancer cells in a primary tumor acquire the ability to invade into adjacent tissues and then to spread to distant sites in the body. Inside most tumors are so-called cancer stem cells that fuel the growth of the tumors. And what we discovered was that when cancer cells become aggressive and invasive and highly malignant, they also take on many of the properties of cancer stem cells, the ability to self-renew and to spawn vast numbers of progeny. And so high-grade malignancy turns out to be a very dangerous disease, both because cancer cells can spread and because they acquire the ability to proliferate to an unlimited extent.